What's going on, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and like I always tell you guys, here you'll find fragrance reviews for the common man and not too expensive prices, and the ladies too. Speaking of ladies, I'm going to do a video of uh, maybe three female fragrances that uh, I really, really like. So stay tuned for that. Keep that. Keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm doing a video today on two fragrances that I found at TJ Maxx. Now guys, I've gotten a few people who have said, hey, this is USA only because you're talking about TJ Maxx, you're talking about Marshalls, I'm sorry. Uh, but you know, I, I can't figure out how to pick, you know, what countries to publish my videos to, so they just publish. Um, these are milestone fragrances, so they are produced in the UAE, um, and I don't know if you can get them or if you can't. I've searched for Milestone Perfumes and I found MilestoneFragrance.com or MilestonePerfumes.com. It's all in Arabic. I can't tell what it says. So we find them here because they're showing up, but I'm letting you know about them because they're, they're clone fragrances. They're actually really good. Um, and I'm just letting you know, if you can't get them, I apologize, but you know, I just want to let you guys know if you're in America and you have a TJ Maxx or whatever, maybe you can find them there. If you're not in America, I don't know what you can do, but I'm just letting you know. So we're going to be talking about, uh, Milestones Velvet Collection, which are dupes of Deutsche Gabbana fragrances. And we're going to be talking about two of them. So if you want to know about them, stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks guys. All right, my beautiful people. So like I said, we're talking about two uh, milestone fragrances which are popping up at the uh, rack stores here in the USA. Um, and they are actually pretty good. Now, do they last a long time? You know, longevity, projection and all of that? In my opinion, no. Um, you may get maybe two hours out of them, maybe. Um, but they smell really, really good and they're $15. So just respray. Um, so we're going to be talking about two of them. This one is Velvet Collection Black Incenso. I love their bottles and they mimic the Deutsche Gabbana Velvet Collection as well. And this one is a clone of Deutsche Gabbana's Velvet Incenso. And then this one is velvet collection orient musk and this mimics velvet uh deutsche gabbana's velvet oriental musk now you're talking about a difference between 15 dollars for these versus 150 and over for the deutsche gabbana's um and i've never smelled the deutsche gabbana's i can't tell you if they smell exactly the same i can tell you what these smell like you can't find notes on these. And every website you look at for these pretty much just took the notes of what they're cloning and put them on their website. So that's, that's all there is. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I can smell this, I can smell that because you know I don't know what's in these, but you would have to imagine that if it's supposed to be a clone of those, there has to be a few notes in there that mimic what the the uh, cloned uh, fragrance has, right? So let's start with this one. Velvet Collection Black Incenso. Now, the one thing I can tell you about these bottles is one, they're beautiful. The uh, The cap is has velvet around it. It's really nice, um, really, really nice. Now, the atomizers, Oh, I love these atomizers. They're so good. And let me tell you, the scent is very, very nice. Now, the notes that this is, is cloning are at the top, black pepper, Elemy, which I can't tell you what Elemy has. I should have done my research. I'm sorry. Um, mid notes are incense and laudanum. And then the base notes are benzoin, amberwood, vanilla, patchouli, cashmere wood. Now, it does have a lot of that. Um, 
the thing I get with this one a lot is incense. It's it's very incensey. It's peppery. I get some some amber wood and vanilla in there as it starts to dry down. It is a very very nice scent, and for fifteen dollars you can't go wrong. So I spray this just to go to work. I, you know, I'll take it with me, and then I'll just respray every every couple of hours. Its projection is not the greatest, maybe a foot for like, you know, an hour, if that. And its longevity, like I said, maybe two hours, three hours. But in those two or three hours, it does smell very, very nice. Um, it's a musky, woody kind of scent with that, that spiciness in there. And like I said, I can't tell you if it smells like what it's, it's supposed to be a clone of. But, you know, for $14.99, I think you can't go wrong on it. I think it's a very, very nice scent. Um, and do I recommend it? If you want to, you know, smell what, what the Deutsche Gabbana smells like, yeah, I do. I recommend it. Um, if you see it, you know, they're, they're popping up all left and right. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd say it's, it's worth it. But if you're going to go and buy the whole milestone velvet collection by the time you're done you're going to be spending you know close to a hundred dollars so just and if if you are totally interested in one of those save your money and buy the actual fragrance or save your money and find another clone that's a little bit better you know there's alexandria there's dua there's um armaf there's afnan there's latafa um, you know, there's Fragrance World. Maybe they make one that, that mimics it better and smells better and lasts longer. But if you want to try what this smells like, I'd say, you know, go for it. Now, the second one is their Velvet Collection Orient Musk, which is a clone of Deutsche Gabbana's Velvet Oriental Musk. And again, oh. Now, I like this one a lot. I really like this one a lot. This is really, really nice. It's, hold on, I spray that one. Let me spray here. You get a nice alcohol blast at the beginning, so don't smell it right off the bat. But Oriental Musk by Deutsche Gabbana has saffron, cardamom, and cumin at the beginning. Now, cumin to me always comes out as, as being like a little B.O. kind of scent. I don't get that in this fragrance. Um, it's, I get the saffron, definitely get the saffron. Now the mint notes of rose cypriol oil, and it does get a little rosy in there as well. And then the base notes are sandalwood, musk, tonka bean, and broxen and cedar. But I get, I get the saffron and I get the rose as it starts to dry down. I'll let you know if I talk enough. Um, I'm kind of cranky today. I have a toothache. And there is only so much coffee I can have to keep the toothache at bay. Um, I have taken some Tylenol. Mm. But it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm going to have to see the dentist soon. And it's not that I don't like dentists. Um, I, I don't mind dentists. But, you know, I'm holding off because that's what I do. I always hold off to the very last minute. But it's getting bad. So I'm very cranky today. Anyway, so this costs $15. The Oriental Musk by Deutsche Gabbana is way over $100 if you can find it. Because that one seems to be, I don't know if it's discontinued or what, but that one seems to be very difficult to find. Now, yeah, see, so you get, you get the saffron. You get a little bit of that, that rose. It starts to mellow out into like a sandalwood, cedar kind of scent musky but really really nice as well i'm really surprised with the milestone fragrances i like them a lot and like i said for 14.99 i see them i just pick them up you know they're they're just something that i can grab throw on and not worry about it now these are best suited for fall and winter um i'd say night but maybe on the Oriental Musk, you can get away with it during the a little bit of the day as well. But for the most part, I'd say night. Now, age range, I don't know. Like, 
you guys could, like I always tell you guys, if you're 18 or 19 and you think you can pull it off, then pull it off. Just, you know, grab it and do it. You're going to smell different than everybody out there. You're not wearing the Eros. You're not wearing the Sauvage, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're wearing something different. Women will, will, you know, respect you for that. So, you know, try, try different things. Don't, don't stick with what everybody, you're going to go into a club and you're going to smell like what everybody else smells like. Like I told you guys, like I never thought that I wear Latafa's uh, Badeal Oud Amethyst, which is a rose-based fragrance with oud in it. Never in my life would I have thought that I would get so many compliments. But I go out to bars with Brenda. I go out to different places with Brenda. And it is guaranteed that I will always get a compliment from a man or a woman. Went out the other day, was wearing it, and a guy said, you smell so damn good. You know, and that was that was amethyst. You know, and it's a rose-based fragrance. So, you know, you never know what you're, you're going to get compliments on. But that one... God, that's a compliment beast. I never would have thought. And I have to thank Jeremy from Colossus because year about a year or two ago when he was just starting out, he already was talking about Amethyst and I saw him and he was like, if you know, you know. And yeah, it's true. That one is really a kick butt kind of fragrance and you're gonna spend probably less than $30 for that fragrance. These, like I said, they smell really, really good. They don't last that long, so you know, just keep that in mind. Um, projection, not that great, but for $15, not that bad. You have to kind of weigh that, right? How much am I spending? If I spent $150 on these fragrances and they lasted the way they do, I'd be pissed off. But because I'm spending $15, I don't care if they last two hours because I'll just respray. I've got 100 ml. I can just respray the heck out of this thing and you know still smell good now the other thing too is let it sit and macerate for a couple of months and it probably will get better it probably will will last longer so maceration is something that people kind of joke about but it does make a huge difference you'll you'll see things change in color you'll see things get stronger you'll see things you know um just smell better so that's my take on two Milestone Velvet Collection fragrances. If you see them, you know, give them a try. You don't have to buy them, but give them a try and see if you like them. Like I always tell you guys, spray them, keep the bottle while you're walking around the store, and then, you know, let it sit and, and see what you think, and then spend the 15 bucks and buy them if you like them. So that's all I have for you guys. I do have another one that I'm going to review, which is... Milestone's Saffron Noir, which is supposed to be a clone of Byredo's Black Saffron. So I'm gonna be reviewing that one soon. Um, and so keep an eye out for that one. And like I said, I'm gonna be reviewing uh, a couple of female fragrances for you ladies, because I love you ladies. And uh, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Do you have these? Have you found them? What do you think? Do they last long on your skin? Um, and as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved. I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.